This feels like I'm playing a different game in some ways than my opponent. Like, I'm just doing the most busted stuff. My God. Watch me just top deck shard after all that. <laughs> hey, buddy, watch this. There was like control priest got buffed too. We, we could do like a quest priest or something. I was going to do that in standard as well, but I guess we could do a, a quest priest. Just um, maybe Adara for some some removal here. I still don't have this unlocked. You're kidding me. Oh my God, I'm one away. OK, <laughs> very soon, very soon. Uh, we could do like a uh, quest priest, right? Like fill in the curve pretty easily with uh, with Druid, hopefully like between Druid and priest, like I'm sure we'll have some good options, right? What was my other seven? Oh, Adara, I guess. Sixes, we were still deciding. We talked about this and what else was there on six? We like light bomb. You had coffin 15 yogs. That sounds fun. It's not a bad idea. I like where you're at. Aquatic farm's actually a pretty good idea, I think. Yeah, it can find me any any cost I need immediately. Oh, we had those discover three drops, didn't we? I forgot. I had Scorpid here, which I think still makes a lot of sense. Oh, you know what we can also run is Zephyrus, actually, too. That also fixes a lot of curve issues. Zeph has been surprisingly easy to keep consistent in duels, I feel like. <laughs> just six right now is our gap could maybe cut an eight but i uh, i don't know it's it's gonna be easier to find sixes than eights i think later on in buckets and stuff i'm okay with nourish yeah okay we're gonna try this i don't know this is fine it doesn't really matter i just want to play yeah I, I think when people say priest was bad they mean more that like the kind of priest i like to play which you know like a control priest or a slow priest was bad and that's true we haven't had a good slow priest since Baron's about a year ago. Baron's control priest was really good with all the like uh, discover shenanigans and stuff. But there was an aggro shadow priest that was very good fairly recently. I mean, it's still it's already been a while since then, to be honest, but, you know, inside a year at least. OK, so, yeah, seek guidance is good. Two drops on top of that would be great. I mean, this kind of feels like the early game first game or two it might be a game we just sort of win on like i don't know being a control deck sort of thing a value deck but also it's pretty easy to get the shard in uh in these worlds because there's not a lot of cards in our deck yet so kind of both work uh battle bandit earlier did i get that sub i might have missed that battle bandit thank you rounded tic tac 500 bits says happy birthday man how hands down the best hearthstone content creator what about if i got hands up though <laughs> It's not even close. Keep doing what you're doing, man. Thanks, rounded tic tac. He wants a refund on those bits after that gag. <laughs> uh, athletic studies, okay. That's not a two drop. That's a two drop. Kind of one we want to play later, but now our curve's all off. All wacky. Probably play Scorpion on three. Palm reading uh, doesn't really do a lot yet. It actually kind of messes up my only current two mana spell. I got to remind myself what the incremental steps here do. Discover a card from your deck and discover a card from your deck. Okay. It's not just draw. It's actually discover. Good to know. So right now, like a six, we could discount an overflow into a six. That'd give me a seven, eight. Yeah, that's okay. Overflow also thins the deck a lot for uh, the shard later, perhaps. Um... Kind of need to play like Moonlit Hero Power this turn, though. You aren't even ready for this. Ooh, that's gross. What's one mana here? Oh, gross. I'm so dead. <laughs> I need Light Bomb immediately. Uh, How do I not have... Oh, yeah, I installed this thing. I... Why is this here? I don't want this here. I turned this off. Somebody sent me a tip on a plugin for uh, HS Replay, and it's really not working well. Like a graveyard plugin? But I wanted to turn off graveyards and only leave on tests. Let me let me make that go away. I don't need this here. Uh, I'm gonna, well, I don't know. If I move it off screen, I may never get it back. I'm going to put that right there for now, and then I hope it goes away between the next game. I don't know. Uh, oh, my God. A hype train's up. Uh, Kobe one thanks 100 bits. Um, yes, Joshua, I agree. That makes sense. Light bomb is there. Man, I may just need this light bomb to stay alive now. Going to discount it to play it soon. Living Roots, eh. 
Solar Eclipse is kind of cool for later, I guess. But yeah, Light Bomb next turn. Well, it doesn't even kill that. Maybe we go Moonlit Guidance here then. Adara for shortly after, yeah. This is going to be more of a control game than a than a quest game, I think. We maybe even should have mulliganed quest. I don't know. It's, it kind of depends on what you're playing against, I guess, but... But this will be a good answer for now, thankfully. Ooh, gross. Two of those are going to be brutal. Okay. Yeah, we don't still really have a good good move here. We can grab a Zeph and we'll have, what, uh, three mana left? So maybe a good three mana AoE. What's a good three mana AoE? I don't know. Mm, just maybe a Shadow or Death even is fine here, though, honestly. Anything with Solar Eclipse here that's really interesting? So this actually is going to give me six mana. So I can do this first and just get a free 5-5 five, five here. If I grab a Shadow or Death, that's fine, I guess. I don't think I'll be dead or anything. Lightning Storm? Yeah, that's not good on this board shape, but it would have been good, yeah. Uh, hey, Forast, dude, thanks for the 100 bits. That's really nice. Appreciate that. Good morning, my beautiful cow. Oh, I can get a Solar now, too. Oh, no, why is it showing Solar? It's not in my deck. I don't know, dude. This freaking thing I added is really screwing me up. I don't know. This plug-in, I'm going to turn it off. I thought it was working, but I don't know if it's working. It's just off now, whatever. Uh, I don't know. I've, the death is where things come to mind, but there might be something better. I don't know. Let's see. Especially with solar. Solar doesn't really do the job, though, here. Solar Holy Light's kind of cool, but death is probably just better to, to remove this, right? Could be dead, obviously. Any kind of, like, weapon push, charge minion. There's a lot of lethal pushes here, but uh, if not, Blackwater's probably a pretty good stabilizer here adara if things get really gross is a possibility too i guess okay that might make things really gross crush here will be bad oh nelly is not too bad is it safe to play a behemoth into this though because i don't really get good trades i might have to adara this to start yeah i think i think probably adara didn't seem like we were dead all that readily here, so maybe we'll start with Adara. <sighs> Actually, pretty good minion to get shuffled in. Nelly's awesome. I don't need the the butt, but <laughs> the butt, but I don't need the butt, but Nelly herself is pretty cool. Hey! Oh my God, Kobe One, you tried to save the train, dude. That's I appreciate it. That's nice. Oh, they hit the weapon. Yeah, I was worried about that previously, man. Gross. Come on, thanks for the thousand bits, man. You tried. It didn't happen, but you tried. I appreciate the effort. Hmm. <laughs> Open the doorways. I mean, we have some discovers, to be fair. Even Seek Guidance um, gives me discovers as well. Kind of like the discover synergy here. It's not the whole deck, but there's a good chunk. Crystal Gem, I mean, in theory could be helpful, but I don't think it's that useful. Kind of want more value. Does quest count? It should. It doesn't say discover card. It's just your first discover in a turn. Doorways and Zef might be bugged. I was going to ask. Zef doesn't actually use the word discover, but it's pretty clearly a discover style effect. So I don't know how that works. Uh, it's my presence. We don't have enough luxuries, right? There's there's a few. Adara, Behemoth, Mirazond, Zyrella. But I don't think it's enough. Zef, of course. I think this will be fine. Okay, here's an extra eight and seven. That's not too bad, honestly. We don't really need this. This is a pretty good bucket. I don't hate this mana ramp. Can get you to the high cost stuff sooner. Big swings off lightning bloom. Nourish his card draw and ramp to help you get to the big stuff and play the big stuff. Find the big stuff. Is this like a little overkill? I don't know. Psychic Stream is such a good card, right? Like th this is the better, like I'm going to win games bucket, but this is the I'm playing for the quest later bucket. I guess I kind of need to win games first, don't I? Yeah, I think I need to win games first, and this helps me win games. Okay, I don't know. That's debatable. There may come a point later where I really wish I had that extra 7 and 8 drop, but I gotta get to that point, so <laughs> let's take the thing that gets me there first, and then we'll do it later. Okay, we'll be fine, I think. These are too slow. 
as I yawn through this game. Oh, second nourish does turn off Zeph. Oh my god, I forgot about Zeph already. It's fine, we'll draw it. Don't worry. Don't worry. Why why do you guys are you guys first off chat is very slow today, number one, which is fine. You know, we all have quiet days, so I get it. But I feel like you're also ten minutes behind. Nobody's engaging today. I feel alone. I'm sad. It's my birthday. Nobody's nobody's talking to me. What a sad day. This is really Oh hey, I'm a god. Just be good. That's all you gotta do, guys. Just be good. Should I coin here and just take the roll end? Uh, you ate too much at lunch. Oh, I know that vibe for sure. Coin here leaves me with no turn three play. I think I just play Zaf. Will it give me the roll end anyway? The or will it give me the curve fill? I guess both are kind of okay. We'll just have to think about it, right? Definitely don't like the backstab. I think we can take the nourish. I mean, the wall growth. Companion though, we might need the tempo more. I don't really want to huffer is the problem. Liak would probably trade better. Nisha would trade better. The stakes are high. Yeah, maybe we have to. We have the curve here anyway. I think this is fine. I don't think I can be so greedy that I push for ramp. This one demands a little more reactivity. Oh, God. Miss Zeph. Miss Zeph. Miss Zeph. Okay. Didn't miss up. All right. Now I might need a Huffer, honestly. Huffer, Huffer's really good to kill this. Yeah, nice. Okay. Thank you, Hover. Appreciate you, buddy. Coin Green Thumb Gardener soon will be pretty cool. So probably just school teacher this turn. Hope to find something relevant. Uh, Bloom would be really nice, man. Bloom Green Thumb would be cool. Bloom Zyrella would be cool too, but maybe a little early. Whirlpool is definitely not ready yet. Holy Ripple is actually really good. Yeah, it gets bike ward. Okay, cool. Do I coin that now? Mm. Fortunately, this discover won't double, but that's okay, too. Well, reading's nice. We have some big spells. I can coin the Green Thumb Gardener next turn and make a really big swing turn. I think it's okay, right? I think it's okay. I think I'll wait. The downside, the risk would be a South Sea Captain, which they didn't play this turn. Um, so it would have to like draw a South Sea Captain. Even then I have two of these. I guess it'd still be okay. Yeah, let's hold coin. This is what I'm saying. I think coin has more value. So this only refreshes up to five if I coin it, right? I don't think it refreshes six, but that's still pretty good. It gets me one mana five, five in that case. Oh, that's yeah, gross. He's going to trade here though, so it'll be perfect. It's actually still really perfect. <laughs> okay, that's great. <laughs> almost couldn't have lined that up any better if I tried. <laughs> okay. I still have like a health concern, right? This only heals. It's not life steal. This only heals one, right? So. Very close to death, pretty much always. Utterly impossible. Utterly impossible. Good morning, my beautiful kill. Okay. Well, actually, do I want to nourish ramp here? I could still play the Noggling, of course. Um. If I go palm reading, I get two of that spell. The stakes are high. What do I need? I need a five anyway. Yeah, let's just do this. I get to, I get two of this spell too, right? Whatever it is. It's your card, whatever, whatever. Two light bombs? Uh sure. Yeah, we don't need nourishes anymore, so why not? I do lose hero power efficiency here, but probably okay. God, I'm actually getting close to having quests done. This is a shocker. I wasn't expecting that. I thought we were going to be playing way more for just control here, but it's fine. Nice little bonus. <clears throat> um, I can actually make this a seven mana spell if I want. Oh, hey, another Holy Ripple. They know I have the Holy Ripple, I guess, right? If I make this a seven, I won't have an eight. I would need Murazond exactly. But I don't really want to eight this yet. It's probably a world where I want a Zyrella as opposed to Holy Ripple, but I don't know. Not like dying. Hero power, Noggling's three, or leaves me with five. You go Moonlight Guide and see what I grab. I get potentially a lot of these, whatever it is. Oh, Blackwater Behemoth's insane. I wish I could play it this turn, though. That means for sure that I need to retain this as an eight. But I think this is just such good... Healing. I'm gonna need that healing because bombs are gonna kill me soon, right? There's a lot of stuff that kills me soon. Actually, let's do this and dude. 
kind of hate that my curve is not really getting better. I'm not really... Or I'm not really developing a lot, I should say. So this is my 7. This is my 8. It will play a Whirlpool if needed, but I'd rather get a Behemoth down sooner if I can. Probably really going to be at 8 next turn. This might die. Play something. Yeah, nice. Okay. Needed something played. Probably just trade this right after I heal and stuff. Don't need a Dara. Make sure we fully clear here. I don't need that ramp anyway. It's fine. So we're back to 21. We have a good board advantage. Uh, if I play Whirlpool, I'm going to currently lose my Behemoth, but maybe it'll die. If I go for Whirlpool, I guess I'm trying to win off Shard, right? I can always grab it off Capture Cold too, so I can win pretty quick. I can play Zyrella and draw it immediately and then win the next turn. So as long as I'm living, we're happy. I think the question is, like, do I kill my own Behemoth? I guess why not? I'm just winning the game soon. Right? Ooh, we can do Murazon instead! Oh, that's so much better! Oh my god. It's so much better. Wow. So play Zyrella next turn. I have plenty of hand space. Dexter escaped uh, from my basement? I know. Isn't it great? I'm happy for him. Zyrella, I don't burn this right now. Okay. God, dude, that was close. I forgot about the shield block. <laughs> that was scary, dude. <laughs> I forgot about the shield block. I burn a bomb. I cannot hold any more cards. Which is totally fine. Actually, I actually have pretty good chances to burn a bomb. I need to be careful not to burn shard, but I can control that, right? Yeah, so that doesn't matter. Okay, so Zyrella capture cold tooth. Just be nice to burn a bomb here. I think we're at 30 now though too, so it should be fine. This behemoth too is just healing me for so much at this stage. <laughs> a lot of minions is actually sort of annoying. Burn a bomb, baby, burn a bomb. I don't even know if it matters, but burn a bomb. Seven. Actually squeeze in a another card. Cast the darkness from your heart. Instant gratification. Oh, I didn't know he echoed like that. Your time has come. That's cool. I never heard that before in my life. That's cool. Okay. I mean, if they don't kill me, here we win. So, yippee. I don't know if he has a uh, counter spell. <laughs> that would be about the only answer, right? <laughs> Just counter spell me, dude. This was actually a really well executed game plan here. Never seen this work this well before. Oh God, that's technically five bombs, but that's still not enough. No, it's six bombs. Is it six or five? Five. Not enough ever. Am I just gonna win on board? It's really unsatisfying. Guys, I don't know if I've ever done this in a live game. I think we did this in, in pre-release, but. Cool, apparently I have. All right, cool, that was great. That felt awesome. Uh, probably looming presence. This is something to play for three. Kind of easy to just weave in. Uh, no good discover options here. Mask of Mimicry can be fun, but a little risky setting everything to the same cost, perhaps. So let's do that. Definitely not that too board focused. I like Earthen Scales quite a bit. Uh, Wild Pyro is potentially interesting. Gadgetan's pretty bad, I'd say. This is a little better from a, like a cost standpoint, I think. I kind of still need a good four. Insight's a solid two. Horrendous growth, I mean, that's really not too great. Is Earthen Scales worth more than these better cards? Gadgetan, I mean, it's a six drop. I, it doesn't hurt to get an extra six, maybe. I like Earthen Scales a lot. I have some pretty big minions. Healing an extra nine could be pretty nuts. I'm gonna take this. 
Pretty close, I think, but Earthen Scales is just very powerful stabilization. Okay, Seek Guidance is great. What a lucky mulligan. It's there every time. <laughs> I wonder if there's somebody out there that thinks that it doesn't know that quests have the rule that it starts in your, in your uh, starting hand. I wonder if there's somebody who's like, man, I'm the luckiest guy ever. I Utterly impossible. I freaking impossible. keep drawing my quest every game. How am I so good? Fell Demon Hunter. I'd like to play that again. That seems fun. And Fell Warlock, too. Okay. What is the least utilized of the spell schools so far? I'm trying to think if there's any one that stands out as being like uh, underutilized. Looming is awesome to get two of these even, yeah. I like that a little better. Armor gain, card draw. Job done. It's really good. Arcane got played in Quest Mage a lot, right? It's not Arcane. Fell has Jace, so Fell gets a little bit of little bit of action. Nature? Well, uh, what's her name? Got played a ton for a while there. Lady Anacondra. Shadow was a defining meta deck with Shadow Priest and Void Touch Attendant and stuff. I think they've kind of all been played a lot. Fire gets played a ton of duels. I guess in standard it was still part of Quest Mage though. Is it actually holy? Everybody's not saying holy, but holy paladin's a thing right now, but it's been about the only example of holy, isn't it? Where it had specific synergies. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I guess it is true that Shadow Priest wasn't really about the shadow spells so much as the limitation. Like it's not like they played um the the weapon for shadow spell synergy. It was really more about just Benedictus, right? That's true. I don't know if that feels like a real shadow synergy. That's a good point. Very reasonable point. This makes Nourish my four. Guff could remain my five. So get two of these, whatever it is. Holy Smite or something would be nice here, maybe. Oh, Shadow Bird Pain doesn't quite work against that guy. Gift of the Naru's. Fair bit of healing and card draw, I guess. I can play that this turn. Well, I can play Pain, but yeah, it's not the right mana cost. I don't know why I keep wanting to play Pain so much. <laughs> it doesn't work, dude. It's not good enough. Ooh, we'll save that. That's a great four. I don't know if I need Nourish now. This combo's great. Probably just Guff next turn. Then, uh, well, I don't know. I guess I could Life Bomb if it makes more sense. Guff definitely want to get sooner rather than later. I do lose healing for Zyrella on my Guff hero power, though. I have Gift, which is a pretty good, pretty good option. But let's just see what they play out here. Currently need an eight. Murazan will be my only eight available unless I find another one somehow. Zeph could find an eight. Pretty naturally on 10. Play Zeph at 10 to find an 8. But Murazan is good too if we get there. Hey, Lucrative, what's up? Oh, true. Tamsin has been very good for shadow spells. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Forgot about Tamsin. She's been very important for shadow spells. Yeah, I would argue Holy has been the least important. All the mage ones you have to say are pretty important, I think, because a quest mage. I think it might be Holy. And even now, uh, like, Holy Paladin is, is good but it's not popular. It's not even seen that much. Yeah, it's not exactly the baller light bomb here, is it? Oh my god, I don't have that anyway. I got mana burned. Screw me sideways, huh? Cool, dude. Cool. Cool, cool. <sighs> Next turn I can Zyrella Geth to clear both of those. I guess I just kind of take a chiller filler turn here then? Man. I hate how behind I am. I just hate how behind I am. Thank God I didn't burn Murazon, by the way. I still could. We'll see. It'll be really bad. <laughs> I mean, I can get, I can, I can manipulate Zeph into a Murazond. So I have, I have a backup plan if I do, but the backup backup plan is just winning with big stuff. <laughs> There's sort of always a value control backup plan as well, right? So Gift Your Power Zyrella is probably going to be a sufficient answer to any big board here. That's a five clear. Um... Might decide to just get away with a guff hero power. It's like probably enough to stay alive unless they have crazy burst damage I'm not anticipating. Although, I don't know, man. It's pretty risky to leave up this much stuff. Yeah, we probably ought to just go ahead and Zyrella, huh? Guff heals five and leaves seven. That feels like too much. Uh, this is going to be a five heal and clear. Also going to advance the next step of the quest. 
Ooh, does this change my mind at all? I don't think so, right? That's really good. Anyway. So I'm going to I'm going to waste two cards again here unless I lightning bloom. I might have to bloom here. Maybe I should have bloomed first, but I need the hand to be empty at the end of the turn. Uh Gardener's pretty legit actually. Yeah. Yeah, we don't need Nourisher or Narnassus, I don't think. <coughs> So if I bloom, I could play Cold Tooth. We want to save that for later. Maybe I just play the Earthen Scales just to empty the hand here without committing uh, a bloom, which is really good. It's not a bad scales. Heal five against pretty great. We're back to 17 after all that, so I think I'm okay. Guff next turn. Or actually, Green Thumb Gardener into whatever we want, but get the Gardener out first. I think this has been really good. Whoever recommended this, you, you made a good call. I think it's been excellent. Dude, Adara's nuts. I'm not on the Adara phase yet. Seems... Well, I don't really want a bunch of these in my deck, though, actually. I mean, I don't know, though. Are they pretty good against Demon Hunter? They kind of are, right? Because each one is potentially... Oh, I don't know. I don't have that many spells. No, I don't think they are that good. Is this a Whirlpool? I mean, definitely not Light Bomb. That feels pretty terrible. I think we can get away with a Guff. They're not that high pressure. Oh, well, I decided to do this first, right? I think Guff will be fine. The stakes are high. Good morning, my beautiful cow. We've used the Zyrella, which was the important part. This advances quest again. I am actually going to burn another card again. Zeph is good to have, though. Because I'm discovering here and drawing off Guff. I don't even... Do I discover first or Guff first? Oh, God. I don't know. I need this for eight, though. Okay. Thank God I discover first. Oh, no. This was the Guff card, so we're fine. Never mind. We're totally fine. I must know more. No, let's wait. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We're burning a card off the top, but it doesn't matter because we got Merzond. Now we have everything we need. Seven and eight. Cold tooth to draw. Oh. It's not much of a silence, is it? <laughs> I mean, it's a little, I guess, but it ain't exactly a home run. Just cycling, I know, but I'm pretty happy to see that, I think. So do we Adara now that I have the Merzond? I can kind of afford to. I don't really need anything out of the top of the deck. These are not terrible cards by any means. Seems like Whirlpool could be saved for... No, well, I don't know. It's kind of the same difference. I don't know if it makes any difference. Is actually a Murazon here good? Let's think about it. Chaos Leech. Silence is okay. Special Sight's really not very good for us now. Let's play the 7 here. Let's go ahead and play the 7 here. Probably just ramp into like a... I don't even know. It's interesting. Both Adara and Whirlpool kind of are overkill here. I will say Adara is asymmetrical though, so... Uh, I could use that, like, once I have minions on board to maybe hit, or... It doesn't really matter if I'm playing for wins like this, though. I don't know. Probably not super relevant here, which I use. We're kind of on the track here to win via quest line, so... As long as I'm alive with health. I don't know. We might... We might want a Zephyrus into a Twisting Nether. I don't know how Zephyrus acts with extra mana now, though. It's kind of... <laughs> like, does he still give you, like, a Twisting Nether if you play him at 12? Or does he give you 10 drops, probably? Probably gonna give me 10 drops. I would I would want a Twisting Nether, though, to clear and fulfill the 8 cost. Maybe I could play, it like, a Wild Pyro first to manipulate that. Put him back to 8. How much damage is Jace doing at this stage? I think it's something we really gotta think about. Because I am gonna be dead to Jace soon. This is actually a pretty interesting Murzon with all these taunts, maybe? Leaving a lot out, though. It would still take... Can I play... No, I'm not going to be able to play... Well, actually, hold up. I'm going to be at 13. I think I'll be able to play... No, I won't... Unless I ramp here. If I ramp here and play Zephyrus, will it give me a Twisting Nether? Morazon into Zeph for heal? Mm, let, me, let me try this. I don't know if this is going to work or not. I may regret this. It's going to put me at 9. Does it give me Twisting Nether still? Oh, shoot. I, I may have got this. Oh, Flame Strike is not what I need. Tyrion might just be okay, though. Tyrion's a pretty good taunt. The reason I wanted to ramp, if it's not obvious, is so that I could play Zyrella and the Shard in the same turn. I actually don't know if I can still, though. I need set 17 mana. I think I'm only going to have 16, aren't I? Shoot. Yeah, that may not be enough. A watery grave. Uh oh, dead. That seems really scary. I because you need five plus ten plus two is seventeen, so I think I'm still gonna be one off. 
probably can play Zyrella for free sort of anyway next turn, right? So it doesn't... I don't know if it matters to... Uh, I don't know. This may have been a waste. Dude, I got glidden'd. I got glidden'd, dude. Are you joking? I mean, is Murazon legit here? I can't play Murazon and Behemoth. I can play Light Bomb Behemoth, but it's like only really kills that and softens these up. Doesn't really do a lot. I mean, I think I kind of have to play Behemoth to stay alive at all. Oh, this is like the worst. Is there any card in my deck that's really good? Adara's pretty good, but I'll probably be dead. Glide him back. Does that really help though? Like I don't doesn't seem to help me at all. This can grab an Adara, which it clears the board. Oh, I can't play a Behemoth in that case, but I, I need it to not clear the board if I play the Behemoth. I actually need it to have an attack target. Oh god, I think I'm so dead. I just need to uh, snipe the Thino, I guess. I don't know. I think that's my only chance. Probably dead here. I mean, they don't have a ton of spells, but I'm just not that healthy. The light bomb literally just killed a 4-3, but I mean, that's a big deal, right? It, it helps isolate the Stino and um, takes out four damage. That's that's important, so. There were some sneakier plays with this, but I don't know if it's right. This also is an instant Adara now anytime I want it. Well, I guess I still got to get to 17 for that, but, you know, theoretically. I think we're super dead... Oh, he doesn't kill Stino. You're right. Oh my god. Yeah, you're right. She's immune because it's an attack Brock. He doesn't attack her. She attacks him. Oh, you're right. It's actually good it didn't hit the Stino then. I'd be super dead. I probably shouldn't have attacked a minion then. Although, still debatable. We need to make sure we can get through those taunts. You're totally right. Yeah, you, immune means I wouldn't heal. Completely forgot she's attacking. Scary. Man, they don't really seem to have it here, do they? This Tyrion weapon is like kind of its own lethal threat here. I have 13. And he's at 14. Oh, are they killing me though? Oh no, it's hitting this, of course. They're not killing me yet. Oh, maybe they are? Trying to kill this, I guess? Oh, I just need one damage. Is this, this is lethal, right? I attack your first in case it gets hit by predation. And then this is lethal. Cause I get uh, second strike. Wow. Okay. We take these. We take these. If I, had got, if I hadn't typed first I got predation, I would have been the saddest person on earth. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, Nukabite, dude. Thanks for the three months, man. Uh, okay. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure it's orb. It feels weird because I care about my costs a lot. But we can get there on minions. This only reduces spells. Um, we always have minions. Adara, Murazon, Gardener, you know, Goth. Not a minion, but you know what I mean. We can still fulfill the quest pretty easily. Orb is bad for quests really bad. I don't think so. I think I just explained why it's not. Um, the other two cards are completely useless. Orb still d gives me a lot of potential tempo and survivability, right? and helps some cards fill in on quests that would otherwise not fill in as quickly, you know? So like maybe Nourish is suddenly a four cost card or a three cost card. And then maybe, you know, Light Bomb fills my five and Whirlpool fills my seven. So it can actually help quest two and help me gain tempo, of course, you know? We'll just have to be really careful about manipulating costs and deciding when to do things, you know? Which I don't think will be too hard. Plus, like I said last game, you know, we don't have to win with quest. We can also win by being a control deck like we just were. You know what I mean? Like we just won that game because we were just the bigger controlling deck. I, I, we don't have to only play for quest. We're going to be playing for just value now and tons of cheap discovers. Because remember, I'm duplicating the discovers and then I'm reducing their cost twice. Like we're just going to be flying out cards now. Now that's how our two drops don't get discounted. But I mean, it's obviously this. Iron Roots is garbage and Mummy Magic is garbage, so... I thought we even didn't take Death Rattle specifically. Did I Did I get one incidentally somewhere? Even though I totally cut... Oh, we got the Aspirant. The one Aspirant here, I think. 
said, hey, yeah, man, you're a death metal deck. Okay, two token, he probably... Mm, I like the two drops here being early early two drops that are good. Librarian's okay. Cold Tooth's really good for us. Pride Seeker's actually pretty legit for Nourish. And Pathmaker's legit for Nourish. Do I have any other good choose ones, though? Is that it? I guess Cold Tooth mine. It's a little iffy, but I, I think it's probably a bit higher quality cards than here. We don't really even need that much card draw because we have a ton of discover and stuff. Yeah, that's probably right. Feral triggers orb. Feral triggers orb. I don't see anything named feral. Oh, the buckets say feral. Oh, oh. Does it trigger orb? None of this triggers orb, right? These aren't discovers. Unless you know something I don't know. We keep nourish too. Scorpion discovers will discount the nourish to four. So that's pretty good. Do I ever play Scorpion on two with coin? find a two drop off of it or a three drop that will get discounted. I don't know. These are just cool cards. Let's keep it. I think we'll have time against priest as well. I'm intrigued to see how all this plays out. Dragon blood, draconic dream. Okay. It's kind of a delayed dragon payoff as opposed to like the crazy tempo dragon payoff. Now that dragon affinity has been removed. Yeah, I'll coin Scorpid. So I want to find a three cost card that pushes to two to fill my curve, right? I think that's... That's our objective here. Nurse is gonna go to four. These are not three cost cards. Discover again though is potentially quite interesting. Goes to four, okay, great. I mean, Nurse, we could push to three, but we've already fulfilled three, so this doesn't really help us. Next turn I need to find a, a three cost card and push it to two. <laughs> Same story. <laughs> I get another try. That's pretty good if that's a dragon. It's a good hit here. Or we could just play the two, but let's see first. Oh, this is pushing Nourish to three though. Oh God! Well, we can push this Nourish to four now. That's fine. Dude, I have too many Nourishes confirmed. <laughs> I have too many, dude. I have too many Nourishes, I'm sure of it. Um... <laughs> I love it. I love it. It's actually great though. It's a, it's a very good problem to have, right? This actually opened up the guff this turn, but I think we just move quest forward. Um, I can even play a palm reading here after, so... It's pretty cool. Gonna discover two things here. Ooh, double lightning bloom? Maybe I just go guff now, then. Get guff really moving here. Do I bloom into a guff hero power? Kind of almost, sort of, kind of, maybe almost pays for itself, but only kind of, sort of, right? But kind of, sort of. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> dude, why do I have so much mana, dude? Um, I'm kind of thinking about pounce, but also just big cards is good, right? Okay, orb is only the first, right? Yeah, okay. Double checking. All right. Still behind though. We gotta be out of this mess. Yes, honest, honestly. Zeph for five is brawl. Anything good at four so that I could hero power first? I guess I could always discount the brawl with worthy as well though. Brawl's not terrible, but it's not really that good either. It's the best bet, though. So if I go here, I go back to four. This pushes it to four, right? Starfall is also kind of interesting. Maybe we take that for later. I got my six just fine. It's really seven and eight that are next up. Can I get away with the Starfall here? Eh, Brawl's probably better on average. I don't know, though. There's a lot of boards later that, that Brawl is going to be better against that Starfall won't be good against. I think this still kills three things and kind of equalizes the board, doesn't it? Dude, these nourish ramps. My opponent's on five mana. I'm on 14, dude. <laughs> What's happening here, man? I don't know. I might want to go here to grab Whirlpool. I know that's good for Questline once it's done, but I gotta get I gotta get Questline done, right? Could go Gadget Zan and just start drawing, I guess, too. It's pretty good. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, you think the brawl's good because they're getting buffs? Yeah, I think that's that's a good point. Yeah, it's 
Like, this is not gonna have a lot of shapes later that make sense. Brawl is good against any shape, right? Doesn't matter. Not even taking a ton of damage here, thankfully. Pride Seeker. Can make Mark of Nature totally free. Kinda don't need to, though. Let's just start cycling out to see what happens. Oh my god, I forgot I'm discovering, too. Oh my god, this is nuts. <laughs> dude, more nourish. Are you joking, dude? <laughs> I mean, is it good? I draw so much. I get so many of these, dude. Like, I don't know, man. Drawing four cards here, is that okay? I think it's okay. Dar is good to see, yeah. Okay. Uh value trades but i almost don't care i mean i don't know is two damage really that relevant i guess not really though. okay just guess i chill at this stage somehow i still don't have an eight but i got my sevens which is good okay this wasn't really the craziest turn like i kind of have too many cards now right like i don't know it wasn't that wasn't that exciting it'll be fine we'll, we'll sort it out but I have enough mana to make things work. <laughs> like, we're gonna have things to do. I think it's okay. My deck's gonna be empty soon for Zyrello, which is kind of cool. Could just use the Guff Hero Power maybe to grab the, the reward, but I gotta be really careful not to burn it, too. That's another major possible problem. Looks like we might have a decent, like, Light Bomb Blackwater here. Might just leave up one thing, I guess. Could maybe... Wild Pyro some stuff or something to make that better, but do I really care? Not really that worried about it, right? What if I give this plus four attack after the Light Bomb? I mean, I guess I can. I, I don't know. It doesn't really matter at all. Probably, but it's fine. It's good. We won the board. We got some health back. It's a good turn. Uh, should I have weaved this in? No, I would have just died to the light bomb, right? <laughs> would have been the biggest spell I had. All right, so now I see my eight. Uh, it's Whirlpool or Murazon. I can grab it, but then I lose this as a way to grab the reward. So I'll have to think about that. We might just be better off trying to draw it organically. Oh, we have two of these. Oh, never mind. That's fine. We have two. We can do that. Whoa, big Murazon. It's just going to die. <laughs> Marathon, you idiot, what are you doing, dude? That's good, though. That's good. They got a good order there. That didn't take any damage. Um, oh, my own Marathon again. Um, so that's my eight. I guess if this totally backfires, I can just, uh, I can just, uh, clear that with whatever random garbage. It doesn't matter. But Cyrella's done here, so. It's Marathon into Marathon. Definitely getting light bombed here. Oh, no, there's no light bomb. I just get a Murazon. What am I saying? That's not how that works, bro. Either way, we're fine. We just do this and we're good. We don't chain Murazons. We just, we just get Murazon. Do I ever brawl here? I don't, I just don't think it matters, right? Like we're going to be totally fine. I don't know if there's any way for them to kill this card, right? Echo in the deep. I mean, you know, theoretically, lethals are always possible in duels. You never know, but I think usually we'll be okay. But -da 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 -da. <laughs> I have a casual 18 mana. I don't. What are they at? They're at nine still. Yeah, so double. That makes sense. That tracks. Uh. Yeah, we've pulled this out of decks. So even this doesn't like get them the thing. Not that they would have the mana to play it anyway, but any way to like, it'll be, even if they like increase, like even if they played Lothab, I'd still have enough mana. <laughs> There's just no way to stop it, right? That's funny. I can play Adara into Shard. Hilarious. Good job, buddy, you did it. Cool actually winning more than i expected with shard man i thought we would very rarely ever achieve the shard but the mana cheese off orb there was just so insane we pushed hard Alrighty, let's do wand makes the most sense to me we have a lot of removal now good removal like that stabilized removal 
Ooh, good discovers. Okay. I don't even hate zero cost healing because of uh, Zyrella, right? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, this is it for sure. Guys, I, I think I don't want to jinx myself. I think there's a chance I might get to play the new Warcraft mobile game soon. But I'll tell you what, I kind of got more excited about... Uh, I kind of got more excited about Marvel Snap, Ben Brode's new game. I'm still excited to try both, but dude, Snap's like kind of calling out to me right now. Either way, we'll see. Give them both a shot, see what we like, if any. Uh, okay, I actually like this. There's Discounting Nourish to Forest, pretty cool. We found out that can be a big play. Get some nutty ramp. Uh, Moonlit Guidance is gonna give me two cool cards as well. Ooh, Murlocs are scary. Ooh, buff the Murlocs, ugh, spooky. I'm going to need this to be discounted ASAP. Yeah. Light bomb's a good card. Adara, light bomb, wand would be nice. Get like a three mana wand or something. <laughs> Super excited for Arc Light Rumble. But yeah, which are you guys, uh, which are you guys looking forward to more, I wonder? Always curious to learn that, that stuff. Did I get another duplicate? Oh, I have Cold Tooth. Yeah, okay. Man, Whirlpool's really good against Murlocs. If I'm if I'm gonna have time, that is. Because I could just go Scorpid here. I think I gotta go Scorpid. I'll grab that later. Right. Scorpid fills and still discounts, which is nice. The light bomb will get us through the first wave, hopefully. And then hopefully we find Whirlpools later for the next waves. Um Arc Light and Wow Nerd, Snap sounds more interesting. Yeah, it sounds like they both have different interests. Uh, Grumpier, from what I've heard, Snap is incredibly complex gameplay. And if you think about it, it makes sense because there are every game you have different rule sets. Every game, the locations change the rule sets of the game. So you have to constantly adapt to varying rule sets. OK, we're going to go for mega discounts here more so than uh, perfect quest curve, because this is a very reactive matchup, I think. So we're going to just push push quests, I think. Me. Palm reading will discount this twice. That's a good answer to that, man. Protect your board. Oh, there's Zaf active now. Wait, no, still not active? Oh, we got two Scorpids in the deck too. Man, we really said screw you, Zaf, haven't we? Hysteria is pretty good too, yeah? More good removal. I'm just stacking up on crazy removal right now, too. <laughs> this is wild. Do I save this for another discount next turn, maybe? Yeah, let's just ramp for now and play Hysteria on the 2-4. That's pretty good. Yeah. Might seem like a big commitment, but it's really not when we have um, so much removal and discover available, right? Uh, so that's a one mana nourish. <laughs> <laughs> it's ridiculous, dude. <laughs> I've totally foregone any sort of ability to finish quest at the moment. But again, I'm I'm totally okay with that because I just want to make sure I have enough removal here to keep up with Murloc aggression because they're going to have big boards and big reloads. This can grab me a Death Repair or a Lightning Bloom, by the way, which I don't think is important at the moment, but something to keep in mind. That's sort of an awkward mid-size. I, I sort of need... That's good maybe Hysteria target later, though. We could probably just get away with, like, a Scorpid this turn. We have a ton of mana, and that's not that scary yet. Scorpid into some kind of palm reading discounts. Maybe ga grab a six mana spell so the palm reading pushes it to four so that I can advance quest. Or we could just grab a five mana and naturally... Oh, that's a good four as well, though. This is a good card to play right now, I think. Yeah, yeah. Fine. Lunar? Or just nature studies for another discount round? I guess nature studies is pretty... Oh, it doesn't work that well. No, it will. It'll work next turn. Yeah, it'll work fine. Oh my god. I'm, I, dude, I, I have so many cards, dude. I can't keep up, dude. It's too many cards. I don't know what to do. I can't play anything for five right now. Hysteria feels a little wasted. Nature Studies is just also a little wasted. Um. Time grows short. Oh my god, dude. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I, have, I have too much choice. I know that Overflow will burn a ton of cards, but I might be able to use it to advanced quests. I'm not really that worried about burning cards, as you'll see here. I'm, I'm staying at 10 just for efficiency's sake. The only thing I'd be super sad about burning is what? Maybe like a Dara, I guess Guff, maybe a Wand. Most of the deck though is fine. 
This double, <laughs> the double and the discount makes it so hard to manage everything, dude. It's really crazy. Uh, okay, so this looks like one of our removal turns. Maybe Light Bomb of the Math makes sense, but we'd need a, something to bump these up, maybe. Hysteria, probably less good. This is again nature studies. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna get two of whatever I get off the nature studies, right? Um, okay, I don't know. We're gonna sort it out. It's fine. It's totally fine. It's totally fine. Oh, that's a good card. Shoot. Do I have any easy way to get to five? Light bomb, not actually a very good answer here. Hysteria on this is pretty insane, actually, yeah. That's that's got to be the move, right? Create some space in hand for this guy. These hysterias were great at these kind of like middling boards, you know? Oh my god, Shadowward Ruins. More good removal, I guess, sort of. It's it's not the right shape, though. So here's Overflow if I just want to rip through most of my deck. <laughs> I mean, it should be fine, right? I guess I could like dump this for ramp to create one more spot in hand, maybe. Could even dump this too. That doesn't really do much. Yeah, I guess, man. I don't know. It's debatable, obviously. I think I'll be able to fill in the gaps though. I cannot hold any more cards. You know what I mean? Like, I think I'll be able to find some sixes and stuff, no problem. <sighs> okay. I say no problem, but I mean, it's with some, with some problem. <laughs> to some degree of success. I think I'll be able to. Just foregoing half my tech here just to advance. Uh, so this is draw three cards. That is not really something we want, to be honest. Uh... Ruin, I, I figured, was pretty good against these buffed Murlocs at some stage, which it looks like that's going to be very true. Just dump a Ruin here to kick things off. Then, I guess, discover. Behemoth would have been a great seven, man. Kind of got garbage in hand, I, I'm afraid to say. Can grab Murazon for eight right now. I want to. <sighs> These are not what I needed. <laughs> I just has so much cycle right now. Adar is a good seven. Still need this six though. Could probably coax Zeph into getting me a six. Maybe I'll use this to take my eight. Figure out the quest problems later, right? I don't think I could use Zeph to get me a six right now, can I? No, probably not. <sighs> okay, so I got seven and eight. We're really just looking for six now. Oh, I should have played this one, maybe. Was that one zero mana? Or, yeah, I should have played this one. Shoot. That's wrong. Not a big deal, but just needed to dump a card here to make room in case we draw the six. I can probably coax Zeph into a six, right? Like, push Zeph down to where I have six mana left, so maybe, like, Shadow Word Ruin into Zeph or whatever. You know, whatever I line up. Maybe Light Bomb, Earthen Scale sort of thing. That makes sense. Um... Ruin appears it may not be quite big enough to sufficiently answer this board unless they have another buff here. So probably got to be something else. Uh, wand leaves me at five. This pushes me to seven. That wouldn't be quite right. I would want it to go to eight. There's really no good way to get Zeph to six here without wasting this ruin. I guess I can still just light bomb. I can earthen scales, and it's only friendly minions, isn't it? Ugh. Light bomb, this dude, Zeph. Oh, hero power too is good, yeah. Well, hero power, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna draw me a card though, so I burn a card. The stakes are high. No, I think this is okay. This should be fine. Shard seems really good, yeah. Any six drop here is fine, doesn't matter. Okay, sure. Okay. Oh my god, dude, this deck is so hard to play with all these cost discounts and shenanigans. Doesn't matter, it's fine. Okay. 
I have everything I need now. We're good. <laughs> it's just so ridiculous to play this. There's so much going on all the time. Every every chain of discounts, every duplicate card, there's a million problems to solve over and over again. I cannot hold any more. Um Yeah, probably just Adara here, right? It seems fine. Well, I don't know. It, pretty much any of these options are about the same. Shadowward Ruin is also very good, but I need to play an Adara or a Murazond. Maybe just Ruin Murazond is pretty good. Save these for emergencies. This will destroy the one I care about, and then I'll get my minions back, and then I'll also have a Murazond to develop a board too. So, that's fine. Adara certainly doesn't have to be in order. Adara also asymmetrical, so... Um... With Amara, I can uh, keep this board if I need to and clear their stuff, which is nice. Might just be able to win on board now. I've got a lot of stuff. If you look very closely here, this is 18 and 11 is 29, 30. Not quite a lethal setup, but very close. So kind of overkill. Is Gigafin related to Mutanus? Um, I don't, I don't think so. Mutanus was in uh, Wailing Caverns. This dude's in deep in the ocean. I think they're both Murlocs, that's about it. Creepy, Curio, I don't really want to shuffle those into the deck much. Krusty doesn't really do a lot for us. Spells are better, I'll say. Sidekick is a four drop. Krusty is a five. Kind of light on fours, honestly. This is already decently sized, but I think this is just the better card. Yeah, Krusty's just a good card. Doesn't really fit the game plan, but I think it's just the best card. Okay, this deck's like working. I, I don't know how. Ooh, Pandaren is good. Can coin it. That makes this a two, which is pretty good. Play that on two is fine. I don't care. Can look for like fours and fives here maybe. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, iron roots and small backpacks. Whoa, interesting combo. Not one you see often. Oh, here's a four actually. This is pretty good. This is our two, three, four already. If I don't, if I don't do another discover, which I don't have to, probably. This will get me by for a turn. So this repair is pretty nice. I have things you never knew you wanted. Uh, this is actually kind of a high cost. We're gonna discount into a good spot, right? I think that's okay for us. These are probably this is probably technically the best card, but this might advance quest the best. Theoretically not terrible at resummoning minions either. I mean, I don't have a lot of great minions, but might be okay. Might have a couple that matter. We ever blooming into a nourish? No, we're cool. We're chilling. Ooh, Pathmaker's interesting because nourish is gonna be on four for ramp. Then I can use this to draw. Okay. I need to be mindful of hand size again. My God, every time, dude, these hand sizes, dude. <laughs> it's like I, it's like I'm just constantly full of cards. Oh, these buffs are gross. I need a clear. Jeez. I need a whirlpool soon, dude. Zephyrus is actually almost active. I just need that Scorpit, I think. So this is gonna give me two cards. I have hand space for that. What do I grab here that's good? <laughs> Light bomb for five? That's pretty good. Yeah, that's a that's good on that guy right there. Not this turn, obviously, but I think we don't have a Zyrella, so we just dump this, right? Maybe just heals fine. It's not drawing, so. I guess Whirlpool is sort of good next turn, but sort of not, because it's not in the quest pool just yet, so. Probably go Light Bomb. They are just smorking, dude. They don't even have minions. They don't even care. Oh, you're kidding me. They rolled a Guff Rune Totem on their nature buff deck. Are you joking? That's one of the craziest things I've ever seen. I think I got to use this, by the way. I'm just dying. If I go Light Bomb, I leave up two units. I can't even kill them easily. Yeah, I think I just have to say screw it. I'll find a seven later, I guess. I think I'm dead if I don't. It's just too much. Stakes are high. Yeah. Just need a universal clear here. Guff's crazy. I, they didn't get to utilize it right, so that's nice, but it's just nuts that they hit it at all. That's kind of kind of an insane high roll. Did we destroy anything in deck? Uh, another cage match, it looks like. Yeah. 
Oh my god, this dude is unrelenting. I'm so dead. Just literally unrelenting. All they're doing is just spamming me with spells. Are you kidding? Is this nonsense? Earthen Scales is my lowest cost card currently, so I could capture into an Earthen Scales. It's not a great buff target, though. I must not fail. I literally only have a 2-4 in here, right? But I need to heal. I gotta heal. I'm gonna die. I think the question is, do I play Spellstone to advance quest, or do I, like, play Pathmaker in order to get more stuff to do? I kind of think, like, hero powers and things are important here, so... Probably going to play the Pathmaker. It's unfortunately going to result in some burned cards. But again, we know that's going to happen. That's been happening a lot and it's not a big problem. Horizon's cool. Wait, what was the last? Oh, oh my God. Of course, I'm an idiot. I only draw one card. That's fine, honestly, though. That kind of also solves the problem, I guess. Maybe I didn't need the bloom then. Forgot we weren't on the nourish still. We're on the cold tooth now. I don't know, it would be nice to hold that here, but... Okay, they're actually killing the thing. That's kind of nice. Save three there. What do I do to heal next turn, though? Dude, th th their whole deck is just burn spells. Oh my god, multicasters. Gross. How do they do it? How do they do it? They're... Whole deck is just burn spells. Oh my god. It's the only thing that kills that for five, right? Like, I just think I kind of have to. Probably dead, though, obviously. They've got a million burn spells. I don't have any healing left right now. Um, What's the best draw on my deck? Guff? Maybe nothing because I'm dead. This is crazy, dude. How do they get such dense burn spells? They All they got is burn. Or they just drew it in the perfect order, you know? I don't know. If I could activate Zeph, dude, and get some healing, I'd be the happiest man alive. Moonlit Guidance could find me a Venomous Scorpid to activate Zeph. Got heal, otherwise is all. <gasps> oh my god, that's healing. That's healing, that's healing, that's healing, that's healing. Is it enough? Because I have three in a row. Thank God they played that totem, dude. <laughs> oh my God, is that enough? I had enough last turn. It might be enough, dude. I don't know. They seem like they were digging for, for, for removal, but target chosen randomly. Oh, that's good. A lot of bodies though, maybe for my dudes to hit. Well, that is still an insane turn. I mean, Light Bomb here's actually kind of interesting, though, right? Oh, I can't Light Bomb and Behemoth, though. Behemoth here... Really iffy. Could double Light Bomb to clear theirs, but... I guess I can still just trade in the Behemoth in that case, right? Not bad. Oh, I do heal for 24, don't I? That's right, because they both attack... They both proc... Wait, oh, well, three times eight. Yeah, that might be enough. I wish there was something I could do with it, though, that felt good. I guess I can nourish. It doesn't matter, that doesn't do anything. Yeah, I could I could res as well. Kind of like the res, too. Is it in the pool for res guaranteed? I kind of like this. Yeah, this is the play. I leave a little out, but it's okay. We heal for a ton. We go off twice, actually. I leave one unit out. I heal to 36. That's the play. Oh, dude, these reses, dude. <laughs> these reses, dude. Let's go. Those I grabbed those on turn two. They came in so clutch. That behemoth draw, you're kidding me, dude. Back to 36. Let's go. <laughs> That's such an insane turn, dude. That's really insane. Um, yeah, these buckets. I mean, this is a discover, which we know is good. These aren't terrible cards to play. Arcanist is pretty hard for us to use. I don't really have a lot of direct damage spells. I think it technically works with Light Bomb. I think it works with Light Bomb. These are just like too expensive, right? I do like that they're kind of sevens and eights that are backups because I don't have, sometimes I feel like I don't have enough, but Hedra is like, uh 
All my spells end up being cheap. Miracle growth, my hands are too full. I, I think it's here. These are a little bit easier to play out. Is it, is it, you need fours. Not really, because we keep discounting everything to that middle range anyway. Yeah, I love... I've been having fun in duels lately, I feel like. I know that's a two, but... We can do better! Hey, there's our four you guys were worried about. That's nice. Thank you, Zyrella. It'd be a little awkward to use. I need my Discover stuff now, man. Discount this Nourish. I feel like the Discount of Nourish is... Oh, part of your placement's gross, dude. Oh, I hate part of your placement. It's so hard to beat. Wand is nice. Just need a Discover. Just need a Discover. What should I call this deck on YouTube, guys? Revelation Quest. Open the quest. Quest doorways. I don't know what to call it. Fanard's good. A for a it's a little bit hard to name this one. Behemoth Priest. Orban the Doorways. Math Priest is actually kind of a funny name. <laughs> I, I don't know that would be very highly clicked, though. People like big kind of, you know, stupendous sounding names. You know? They want things that sound big and impressive. Hmm. Spell stones. I don't have any armor gain currently. I think we just take radiances for Zyrella, right? I actually kind of think the healing is going to be important as well, but just for now for Zyrella. Next turn we can nourish into Darnassus or something. I mean, I doubt I need to wand. I think we'll wait. try to wait one more turn for a good wand. I don't know if they're going to have a ton of extra minions out with this shape of this deck, but at least a couple party replacements if nothing else. Probably trade in the poisonous here, I'd guess. Although... No, they value trade that, I guess. Well, that makes Wand a little more interesting, but still doesn't feel quite like it's time. I think Nourish Ramp will be better. Because Irela might satisfy anyway. May not even need Wand yet. Save Wand for later. Do we go Darnassus? Do we go Cold Tooth? Do we go Hero Power? Hero Power doesn't draw. Darnassus is kind of wasted if I'm wanding anyway, right? But no, it's not wasted. I get a two drop. No, never mind. That's not that's not wasted at all. That's amazing. That's actually perfect. One goes to three, which doesn't really matter, but... Oh my, behemoths have been so nuts, right? I think I gotta take behemoths, dude. They just eat, they just eat these tutus, right? I mean, poisonous would be bad, but that's okay. They just eat in the meantime. So no five currently, no six, but I, you know, I think in a way we've almost shifted into a control priest as opposed to a quest priest, so. Should be okay. Gonna have six mana here, it looks like. Or do I still go back up to seven, I guess, don't I? Yeah. Not time for Behemoth, though. We want AoE. Question is, do we want Zyrella or do we want Wand? I think we just want Zyrella. I don't think we need Wand just yet. Uh, Zyrella is totally sufficient here. Save Wand for, like, an emergency instead, right? What knowledge do the stars provide? This doesn't really help me get to either five or six, so... Hero power is fine for now. For Hopefully we can get ahead on a behemoth here and just like start eating tutus. Now they have a lot of cards in hand though, so I don't know if that's maybe burst damage or maybe if it's like removal. They haven't had to use any removal yet, so it could be that. It could be burst damage where they just have been waiting to kind of find a moment for it. You know, I don't know which is more likely here, but behemoth's pretty good against the burst damage side of it. Less good against the removal side of it, I guess. That is not the strongest play in its own right. Can I can I make this cost five? Can I opt to spend more, <laughs> please? The guff would be our best draw, I think, right now. Getting that reliable hero power. Oh, that's kind of spicy. Denies my trade a little bit here. Krusty's a five. Good job, Krusty. You did it. I'm proud of you, buddy. I must know more. Get the draw, Cyrella. Love it. Let's go ahead and gain some armor here, too. It's kind of free right now. Could be slightly better on a behemoth, but I have the mana now, so. Just because the behemoth kind of doubles up the healing, you get one extra on the... Well, it would actually be about the same, wouldn't it? Because I got ten. This would give me two extra off the behemoth proc. I'd get eight plus... Well, no, just one extra, I guess. No, it'd only be nine. Yeah, that's better. Whatever. Survivability increases, I guess, but that's true for this guy as well. Oh my god, he's hitting the crab? What on earth is this math? That hitting the crab is the right answer. <laughs> like, what card is it? Dunk tank trade? Still... Oh, no, it's right. Okay. 
five and three is eight. Yeah, that works. That that he had this. I had the same hiccup he did. Like you don't need to hit it. <laughs> the spell damage counts twice. Okay, coins, but not utilized right away. This would be a good behemoth if I had the six cost. I'm a little tempted to hold it though. I mean, I have two, so it's not like the end of the world. You know, but sure would be nice if I had the six. I play school teacher and behemoth. School teacher gets me discounts, gets me value. I could bloom the behemoth, but I mean, what to what end, right? I don't know. Doesn't seem doesn't seem important. Nourish also not a six. No need to heal myself when the behemoth's gonna fill me up anyway, right? Hellcare, dude. Thanks for the prime sub. That's really nice. How many tutus will Behemoth eat? He's getting fed. He's currently at one. Gidra, you big enough to eat this? Oh, that's a small Gidra. That's a tiny baby Gidra. Uh, do I ever nourish for draw here just to find a six? I only have a few. You could try to discover a seven cost spell as well, right? That would be another angle. I like this good sneaky little play. Freeze it so that it won't activate. But if I play the other one, it'll still activate because they attack. Whirlpool's a good eight. If I go nourish here, I need to innervate or play something else first, I guess I'll say. Marzond any good here? Yeah, not really. Let's try to discover a right shaped spell. I need a seven specifically, I think. I can get this to six eventually, but can I? What is uh, fortitude is going to be not six? Obviously, I have a ton of spells in hand. Um, maybe I just take the miracle growth for a future turn. I can get it to six next turn pretty easily. The stakes are high. Right. It's kind of overkill, I guess, in a way. But well, this is currently my only discover, so I have to save this to to discount this. I killed my eight, too. I don't know about this, man. This feels wrong. This is hilariously bad. <laughs> I just, I don't want to burn a card. I think we're just chilling. I don't want to draw a card or burn a card here. I can't even heal this guy without burning, without drawing and burning. So this discounts these to six. I can play, I'll probably play Whirlpool now, actually, but then I need an eight. <laughs> like, I just... Let's do the discounts, dude. I need to maybe just say screw the quest and play the game the best way possible, right? Like, maybe just don't even care. Just get there eventually and just control. But I'm not really feeling any urgency either at the moment, so it doesn't feel like I have to hurry a ton or anything. Yeah, there's eights. There's also sixes and sevens. There are eventual guaranteed cards, right? It's not, like I said, I think we're just... There's no need to stress about it so much, really. Okay. Whirlpool's fine here, I think. Kind of unnecessary, honestly, but it'll just be on curve. Uh, I'm going to have this problem again where I have too much stuff in hand. I need to almost need to like lightning bloom first. <laughs> I just have the problem of having too much cool stuff to do, right? It's a good problem to have for sure. For sure. Um, so this makes this six. I will burn one of the options, though. I guess I could just like radiance my face first and then or I could cold tooth mine. Now that finds me a card, so that won't really help. Um, the stakes are high. OK, I don't know. This gets me the extra dude. I can play one of the dudes and then lightning bloom, right? So anybody? Earl Rage? Does this let you pick? I'm sure it does, right? Does it let you pick? Surely it lets you pick, right? Pick me, pick me. Oh God, the Whirlpool's gonna destroy the second one, isn't it? It didn't let me pick. The Whirlpool kills this one. <laughs> when I interfade into it. God dang it. Uh, maybe I go Lightning Blue Miracle Growth instead? This isn't even the scariest board, so yeah, that's probably fine. This is gonna just burn the discover card I get, but it's okay. I get a tin tin, it's cool. It's burned, so let's burn the worst thing, I guess. I don't know, that might have been Green Thumb Gardener actually in hindsight, but it's all good. 
So now Behemoth is seven. We just still need our eight. Murazon was in the deck somewhere. It's really our only last eight. I mean, we can always generate eights, but does this just cast randomly, I guess? I love that this had to get attacked. That's great. Because I was just looking to clear minions anyway with Whirlpool, so. Seems like it did the same thing. Ooh, that gives me an eight. They don't know that they just helped me. That's insane. Yes, dude. That's the only way I'm going to get an eight. Oh, my God. That's delightful. Wow. Oh, I can't play this. It's fine, though. Any questions? Wow. Thank you. They saved the day, dude. <laughs> that was awesome. So now Behemoth finishes. Um, need to make sure I have space, of course, for Zyrell. Well, I guess I always will. Behemoth will give me the space, right? And then I have Cold Tooth Quest. Should be fine unless I screw something up. Need a couple turns, obviously, but that's okay. Yeah, he did save my 1-1, one, one. yeah, yeah. It worked out that I got to keep this. Which I'll probably play it this turn, right? May only be 4 face damage, but might be 8 armor. Might be a free 8 armor. So yeah, this gets Cyrell in hand. Actually might just wand here to play around any sort of real emergency song. Because next turn I'll be able to... Well, I won't be able to win next turn, but I'll be able to... Well, I guess in that argument I should maybe save the wand for, for the turn after, right? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Doesn't probably really matter much. We're probably okay either way. Pick me, pick me. I gotta attack this time. Maybe I'll just hit here and then the behemoth's pretty good to hit stuff. Yeah, that's fine. This draws and burns a card, but that's okay because I haven't played Zyrelli yet anyway. It doesn't really matter. Just heal, heal max. I can play Zyrella Wand and Cold Tooth next turn, right? So it, it's it's all good if I need to clear the board to stay alive 100%, right? That was unfortunately the low roll hit there. Probably doesn't matter a lot, but... So Zyrella, capture for the biggest. It's in hand, and then we have Wand. Then we just have to worry about Spyglass. I need to worry about Spyglass. Oh, true, I could have healed anything. Yeah, well, I guess just pass is the same difference as healing there. I get one extra card, but again, it doesn't matter. None of it matters. I actually got an extra cold tooth just in case they steal it somehow. I don't know how they would, but it's possible, I suppose. I wish we had guff shenanigans so I could Zyrella and, and complete at the same time. I've never done that, but that sounds fun. Time runs low. <laughs> Do I have my starting list for this run? Uh, not handy, but it's in the VOD somewhere. If you scroll back, you'll you'll find it. It wasn't anything too crazy. I love how much work they're putting into my minions and not face, right? Ooh. Does that secret mess with us at all? I, cannot hold any more I guess we can test, like, Omayog with Wand, because it's not that big of a deal this whiffs. I mean, it's kind of a big deal, potentially, but not, not like the end of the world, right? It's really not dead, am I? Test with duplicate cold tooth? Well, then I don't need to do that because I actually do want to clear these. I, I want to spend this mana clearing if I can. Should be fine now, right? Oh, it was a little dude. That's fun. Easy. So now as long as it's not, uh, as long as I don't hit the one in eight spyglass, we'll be fine. It's really just the 1 in 8 Spyglass. If they have Spyglass, number one. And then they have to hit a 1 in 8. <laughs> I don't actually think they have mana now, right? Or is it discount by 3 or by 2? They might still have mana after that. I don't know. Especially if it was 0. Oh, 3 and 8? No, Spyglass isn't Discover. Is it? Why do I feel like Spyglass is random? Is it really Discover? Put a copy of a random card in your opponent's hand into yours. Yeah, it's not Discover. It's it's random. I didn't think it was, but never know with these things. Uh, Fangs is pretty good. I kind of like Portal being a proactive four, but I think he's the worst card. I think we win long if we stay alive. I think Fangs helps me win long more than, than Portal. 
we eventually get the quest done, you know, like it, it eventually gets there. <sighs> some fives and sixes. Oasis gets discounted in some nice ways. I don't have like duplicates though, so it's gonna be like kind of meh sometimes. Wrath is kind of meh. No discovers across any of these. Triple Goru, as fun as it is, is not good. I just really don't need these. I, th I think it's here. These are the only useful cards, really. They're not synergistic, but they're still useful at least. Okay. Yeah, we need faster plays. Yeah, for sure. Moonlit's the perfect turn two, right? Well, Darnass is pretty good too, but this discounts the nourishes. Which I can play on three for four with coins. Yeah, we'll go Moonlit, I think. We'll need the three at some point, but that nourish will get discounted again at some stage, right? So should be all good. Faster plays like Nourish. Nourish really is pretty fast. Yeah, it's in this deck, the way it works, it's pretty dang quick. I can't believe this is a 6 0 deck, by the way. Man, it's really cool. I kind of have to go in 30 minutes, so I sort of need to win fast or lose fast. <laughs> I'm proud of this deck getting to 6. Oh, 6 1. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I, I, you know what I meant, I, I think. Six wins, let's say. Uh, let's take Adara for emergency's sake. I don't think Oasis is going to be good. Adara is a good fixed seven as well. It's just the best card too, right? It's having multiples of the best card can sometimes go a very long way. So Nourish for four. Hey, thanks Grimgrod. Wow, appreciate the 500 bits. And Zags fan with the nine months. Uh, and total Carl with the gifted subs times five. Unbelievable. Grats to Swoodif, Mullet. Black, Greater, and Scan. Rats, thanks guys, wow. What a birthday surprise. It is, it, it is my birthday today. I'm not blasting this out as an advertisement, but you guys are in on the secret. 35 years old today. It's unbelievable. I don't feel a day over 27. Well, my body feels about 67. My interests and brain feel about 27. So I guess a bit of a mix. I think I care more about drawing than playing at our darn asses. I need just fi curve fillers, right? That's the most important thing, I think, for us. As a 37-year-old, us oldies gotta stick together, yes. In the world of gaming, we are actually fairly old. Thanks for the 350 bits to commemorate the 35, I see. What do you know? Okay. Armies of tutus aren't inherently big problems, but when they get bigger with iron roots, I think they become bigger problems, unfortunately. So no easy three cost here because I don't have a discover somehow. That's wild. If I hero power into a one cost discover, I could play nourish for the three. Mm, doesn't feel very good. Do I just nourish for ramp and get ready to play some Adara soon? It doesn't feel right. I want to find the right stuff. I think we'll just use this to recover next turn. Just kind of throw in a bait target here. Hope they hit me a little bit for the Zyrella. Uh, Steward pushes Nourish to three and becomes playable immediately, which means quest will be finished next turn if, if I want to. Guff's kind of a passive turn, so I probably have some time to do my thing as opposed to their thing. I mean, with Adara, Adara Whirlpool, we certainly have some recovery available. It's not like we're in a huge hurry here. Uh, I probably like this a little better because I think these are better cards to get duplicated. Savage Roar. Boy, that's not something I typically need, but it's it's honestly not terrible here just to kill a 4-2. Just kind of use it as a way to... So this discovers one. I can play one of these, probably is all I need to. Maybe even an Earthen Scales, though, just to fill the curve. Crusty or Palm Reading? I don't really need a Palm Reading, although it is another great Discover discount, but I'm kind of getting... Well, this will be a 6 now. I just need an 8. Okay, whatever. That's fine, then. Actually, not bad. Pick me, pick me. Um, gosh, guys, thank you, everybody, man. Oh, wow, I even get extra armor from the Savage Roar. That's really cool. Thank you, Savage Roar. That was actually really nice. I healed and cleared a little. That's cool. Uh, oh, my God, Skull Dude with the Prime Sub. Grumpy or Goat with 100 bits. Thank you for the kindness. Grimgrind with 1,000 uh, bits. I'm 100 years old, I guess. <laughs> uh, Scourge on bits. Dirty Red with six months, thank you. Hellcare with uh, 100 bits. You beat me to 35 by about two weeks. Wow. I also beat Trump and Crip. They're both like a month younger than me, I think. We're all very close, though, which is kind of crazy to think about.
that we're all like within a month of each other for age it seems weird that I mean, it kind of makes sense that I guess, you know, the same kinds of aged people would would all be doing the same sorts of things and play the same sort of game. But a month makes it just seem really crazy. Really crazy. I mean, we have nine mana. We're not even the guff, dude. I would love a guff actually right now. It'd be the perfect five. I love that they're just taking a straight trade there because I, I have a little bit more inevitability than they do, you know? None of these really align well for us from a cost standpoint. So let's just do this. This is our six currently. I'm okay with that. I may have to just kind of play it out without being excited about it, but that's okay. <sighs> Need to dump a card here, but I lose some Zyrella value if I do. Maybe this one's fine. Pick me, pick me. The Two damage here just to dump a card. It's all good. <laughs> Um, okay, so Whirlpool's our six, Adara's our seven, we just need that eight, which I can actually grab right now with a Cold Tooth Mine, so that would be fine. I actually sort of need them to make a board so I can feel good about Whirlpool, because I want to wait to Adara after that. So any really kind of even middling board, I will probably rip a Whirlpool here, just to get it out. Uh, Ninja Nomics, man, thanks to the Prime sub. Timmy Kai with the two months, thanks to the happy birthday wishes, that's awfully nice. This looks like the board I was talking about indeed. Gonna be a monster board, maybe. Good God. Oh my word. Yes. Feed the whirlpool. Feed it. Feed the whirlpool. I don't have another wand maker, do I? No need to trade or anything. Actually gonna... Uh, if I want the discover times two here, I need to desperate prayer first. Or I guess I can flash heal too. Maybe that's a little better for Zyrella later, yeah. Probably never actually damaging them, but just in case. Probably need to dump a card here too, honestly. I guess I can dump palm reading, right? Doesn't matter. Oh my God, that's my eight drop. Okay, let's just take that now. Yeah. Well, I don't really dump palm reading. Now that I say that, I get another card. If I get something playable here, I can dump it, I guess. No. I mean, this also doesn't dump a card. I can take a lightning bloom and hero power. <laughs> I guess I don't. Does it even matter if I dump cards? Though? Who cares? I have everything I need. We don't need anything ever again. So no, we're fine. Let's just hang tight. There's really absolutely zero hurry. So they go for another board here. We just go for Adara. Um, they don't have a scary board, but do something cool. I guess we could Murazon. I mean, just Adara anyway. I definitely don't need Nourish here. Tempo Adara is fine. But I think they might build a board. Let's see. Will I enter the Brawl Stadium next week? Yeah, I'm planning to. Yeah, it's there's a lot going on. Like, there's a lot of like games hitting, coming out and stuff, and just a lot going on. A clear God That's a fine Adara target. Yeah, I don't care. Could probably get away with Murazon, but Nourish is risky to draw a ton of stuff. No real advantage to it. I cannot hold any more cards. I cannot hold any more cards. <laughs> In my okay. I haven't had Guff hardly at all, man. We had Guff like in a game or two early, and that has been it. What are the games looking forward to? Uh, Marvel Snap and Warcraft Arclight Rumble are both potentially something I might play this week, I think. So it's kind of a busy week for content. And then there's the Brawlicium, too. And then there are rumors that the mini set might be like next week, which kind of blows my mind. It seems so fast, but the expansion came out a little later than normal. Some people say next week or the week after for the mini set based on like the patch scheduling. Something about mercenaries event ending or something. I don't know what the thoughts are, but it's the rumors on. Uh... That's the rumors anyway. God, they kind of did the right thing here that makes this awkward for me. Like, Murazon might just hit himself. Like, do I need to take another Adara turn here? Light Bomb could also be a gap turn. I mean, it's like, do I think this thing kills me? You know? I could always Adara it next turn. I mean, it's pretty unlikely it kills me, but what's the hurry? I just, I just always win if I take my time, right? Banana split, yeah. There are ways, yeah. Okay, I'll just... I mean, hopefully that's like the last big board they build here. I don't want to take too long, because obviously I have a win condition guaranteed soon, but... 
Let's not risk it. I don't know. There's like uh, the thing that gives it wind fury, you know, the, the army knife or whatever. There's there's ways that it screws me. I could have rolled like taunt on Murzon and stuff that made me feel safe. But the problem is you don't you don't know that you're going to hit your minion. You might hit that, that their minion. You might, they might just buff it for another attack buff. Oh, yeah, it would be a good idea to take a bloom. Yeah, so I could do Murzon plus like Zyrella or something. I like that idea. Grab a bloom last turn when I had spare mana. I have plenty of cold tooth mines, that's for sure. <laughs> There's really no urgency on those. Um, yeah, this is probably a little bit safer Murazond, it looks like. So I'm gonna get a Scenarian Ward, which heals me and gets me a big minion, and it's only eight damage out, so it seems fine. You think this is your time? It is Doo -doo -doo. Really? Oh. Wow. If that lives. No, I can't. Oh, God. Well, I have spent 10 mana. It'll be fine. It's all good. I think we're okay. Kind of an awkward minion, though. I don't know. <laughs> it's like, eh, like kind of kind of awkward minion. Are you still need to make space? I was saving the healing for a potential Zyrela bailout if I need it, if I get scared. Why would I need space? Oh, branch. Oh. Oh, you're right. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh, of course. I didn't even, I honestly didn't even notice he played the branch until I played my card, but yeah, you're right. Branch could have screwed me. Dude, what is this? Why am I taking a billion damage, bro? I'm gonna have to Adara, aren't I? Can I get away with a shard? Dude, this is the scary kind of board we were talking about, right? Like, oh my God, we're gonna die almost. Um... Yeah, shard's not not good enough. So let's just Adara again. Zyrella only does five each. Could do nine with shard. Hero power would actually clear with Zyrella. Is that better so that I heal as well? Shard and hero power? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Or is that really clear? A little safer for burst damage, right? Just grab that bloom like we talked about earlier. Doesn't really matter yet. I just need time to be safe, right? Like, they just keep building these monster board after monster board. I never get a minute. I never seem to get a minute. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so much mana, dude. Stop. I need to go soon. I gotta leave. I gotta go eat dinner. Oh, I'm gonna go. I'm, oh, there's a chance I don't have. I don't think I'm gonna finish this run, guys. I gotta finish it tomorrow or something. Oh, I'm so sad. I wanted to put out the video tomorrow. Gotta go. This run is taking too long. These games all take an hour. This must be the way. And we're just never losing. That Armor up again. I can play Cyrilla and Adara together, but I then won't be able to play Cold Tooth Mine and oh my god, dude, these boards, they never stop reloading. I'm so sick of these boards, dude. Um I have I obviously have to clear this board again, right? Like there's no I'm gonna die if I don't. Um Okay. This is not a discover, right? So it doesn't discount the shard. Murazon free? How do you mean? I mean Murazon's not bad, but I'm gonna potentially die. He played the mana twig. Yeah, but I don't always get these in the right order, guys. I might, I might get them in the wrong order. It doesn't always play in the same order. It's a random order. And then if I don't get it, I'm totally screwed, right? I found a few treasures in my gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and bloom the Zyrella. And I just want to get. It's kind of risky because deck manipulation and like there's obviously risks. But I'm about to just win on value because they are down to six total cards. So even if I do lose that, I just, I want to get a 7-7 taunt down, basically. Just give me more board to, okay. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Great news, okay. This is actually a really good Murazon together. Although again, order could be bad, but I guess it kills the Tintin regardless, doesn't it? Oh, they never run out of cards because of Mycelium. Oh my God, dude, I hate this deck so much. It just keeps reshuffling. I do have to actually win the game. I can go like cold tooth mine here, but I have to be alive. Oh my God, this is so gross. How do I live? 
Krusty would be a good draw. I guess I have to play Murazon. Oh my god, I drew the Krusty! That's probably enough. I leave out six, though. Like, it's not always enough. It's not always enough. I could get a Zephyrus, maybe. I think I just Krusty heal and shard, right? And just hope I'm alive. Like, I think I just have to hope I'm alive next turn. I think I have to hope I'm alive next turn. There's really no other choice. I think there's a decent chance, but it's absolutely not guaranteed. Choose one cards can go nuts, right? They can do a ton of bonus damage. The nature spell buffs, like, just potentially dead here. If I go Murazon, guys, I very likely just leave out the same amount of damage. Could arguably get a taunt, but it also might get poison seeded, right? So... It looks like they're clearing, which is a good sign. It's 12. 13. Oh my god. They're getting mycelium again, and they haven't drawn yet either. That's a nature spell every time, right? I think I'm dead. Oh my god, dude. This is like... How... Why do they have two of these? Am I missing something? Them playing this was kind of risky because it might eat the buffs that would otherwise give them lethal, right? They also didn't attack for one, right? Oh, I think they got it. That looks like they got it. They w they clicked that so fast. Oh, naturalized doesn't matter at all. Well, it doesn't matter if they buff this, it matters. Oh, did Power of the Wild get it? 16? Oh my god, dude. I feel like they would have got it if they... Oh my god, I don't know. We take it. <laughs> we take it. I don't know. I, I think this ate a buff or two, though, so I feel like they might have been able to isolate the buffs. I don't know. The Iron Roots was the play more than the, like, finding stuff. I think you just had it if you just shuffled enough myceliums. I don't know. So I gotta remind myself, oh my god, I forgot, I forgot how we, we, we've had a break, I forgot to play this deck. If you're watching later on YouTube, it's been, it's been 24 hours since I played this. So, yeah, okay, we have, um, double discovers and discounts off discovers for bigger spells, and we have quest line as a win condition if we need it. Sometimes we've been winning on just control, but we also have quest line. So I think we want to find, um, discover cards primarily. A Wrath is kind of interesting to keep on two just because it does enable some quest movement. Because if I get the quest done, that's one of the discovers already, I suppose. Okay, Zeph won't be active for a bit, as I recall. I think we had double Nourish, double Scorpid, and double Cold Tooth Mine. Yeah, okay. So we're seven and one. Good to know. Hey, Eevee Lover, thanks for the tier one four months. Oh, Master's Theses are the worst. Oh, God. <laughs> I hated that so much. <laughs> I kind of hated grad school in general, but... Spending that much time on something I knew I wasn't really interested in just to finish it was dreadful for me. Soul crushing. <laughs> Strange deck tracker? It is? Well, he looks very normal. For me, anyway. Yeah, all right. Spreading saplings isn't as bad as I think iron roots. We've been fighting a lot of iron roots this this uh, run. Those crazy buffs. Spreading saplings, like I feel like I can keep up with two twos for a while. No four or three right now. Unless you're on a single minions, okay. Could get a crusty in for tempo, but it just feels bad. I think I think we go steward here, honestly. Leaves me a little out of whack next turn, but the discovers are really good here, usually. Tree of Life will get notably discounted over the course of the game. <sighs> Seaweed Strike I could play next turn, but I don't think is that interesting. I think I'm actually going to take... <laughs> Do I take the Trees of Life? I mean, it's still, it's going to be a two-mana minimum. It's going to take a long time for that to connect. Seaweed Strike's going to be two, so it doesn't satisfy quest. Remember, it's it's getting discounted here, so it doesn't actually satisfy quest. I guess this is the most reactive card, though. I, I don't know. This might end up healing roughly as much as the Tree of Life, if you think about it right. Just killing stuff is going to heal me over the course of the game. Tonic Studies is good. <laughs> Did it do? Yeah, we just played it. I don't know. I may have to check it out. Yeah, because I couldn't get that thing to work well. Oh, really? Just a hero power on that. It's kind of the same stats. All I lost is spell damage there. I feel like I have to count that some small victory. 
All right. Like, this is showing cards that I've... I don't know. I don't need that there. It's not actually in the deck. I don't know what's going on here. I've done something. I've done something wacky. I've messed it up. Field deck grad school burnout 100 hour weeks while being told my quality of work is slipping. Fun times. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, it's the worst. When I was in grad school, I was running a action figure collector's website, uh, which ended up being my real career working in online digital marketing because I hated it so much. I was like, no, I can't do this. I gotta do something else with my time right now. It's too much for me. Okay. You don't pick the walks. No four handy just yet, but we're staying equal on board. I, I, like we're, you know, in in part a control deck, so just controlling things is good for us. If we're if we're not falling behind too far, we're happy campers, I think, because we have a lot of really good mid to late game tools. So you need to find that four though. Palm reading can find me a six gets discounted to four. Is the palm reading itself and the discover both discounted, so we need to grab a six cost spell. Yeah, man, they have a really slow start. I don't know. How are they <laughs> in eight games? <laughs> they must be doing something cool we just haven't seen yet, because this so far has been, I would say, rather underwhelming. Um, do we go wild pyro here just to clear? Probably. Let's make sure this stuff stays in check. I won't be able to play the fours right away in this case, but that's all right. Yeah, no, no fours. Uh, nature studies are good, though. Kind of overkill from a like discount standpoint, I guess, right now, but that's all right. Well, that's a six, but it's not actually getting discounted. But that said, it's still probably my best bet because I can get it to four next turn. I think. Ooh, that's a good play. Man. Oh, God. How is this going to work? So, nature studies, I'll discover two. The nature studies will apply a discount and the discover will apply a discount. So I may have to use a different spell to eat the discount of the nature studies temporarily to push this to four. Does that sound right? Oh my God, Tyrant, this is gross. Uh, thankfully I could just use my good buddy Krusty here. That's gonna be fine, I think. Not a great line otherwise. I mean, I can, I can seaweed strike and stuff, I guess. Not better off using the runic, am I? I don't think so. <sighs> Solar's pretty good. Just a powerful card, right? So this is set to four now, as long as I don't play another spell. I think it's fine. If I play another spell, it's... Oh, wait. Was... Did I play Nature Space? Yeah, so if I play another spell, it goes to five. But if I discover again, I could push it to four again. I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't really matter too much. <laughs> Probably just going to be playing off like Zyrella here. Unless unless Murzond is really good. I kind of need to save these seven and eights as long as I can, though. I think. Hey, Trudis. Yeah, I know, right? I can't wait for Snap to get a PC claim because it does indeed feel very uh, constricted from a viewing experience. I think we can all agree. Dude, Murzon's not bad, but I think it might leave me dead, right? Dude, Murzon to Earthen Scales is sort of insane. Not good enough, though. The Wrath is just so unlikely to actually connect. Uh, Zyrella, I currently can only heal for... for three. I mean, for two, which doesn't kill anything, really. Um, Runic Zyrella is also not great. I can go double Runic, I guess, but that's weird. Man. The stakes are high. This turn sucks. Any good way to get additional healing other than black water? Dude, this turn's bad. I'm gonna overload too much if I go for runic, I'm afraid. Time grows short. <sighs> I don't like this at all. I'm basically almost dead. Oh god, I forgot I was discovering. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, I did it. I did the thing. We're alive. Whirlpool's really good, of course. We need to clear boards, so. I think we're okay. I mean, we don't love 16, but we have quite a bit of life to work with. Was this not the first discover in my turn? I guess, did I... Why didn't I get two of these? Did I play... Did I only get one? Am I missing... What, what did I forget here? Hand was full? 
Oh, was it? Oh, okay. When I saw, okay, it was full because I had to play the earthen skills first. Okay, that makes sense. Down to seven. Played solar earthen. Could have played the solar first, actually. Then I should have. I would have got a second whirlpool. Yeah. Okay. Good to know. Good to remember for later. Okay. Branching can be pretty sweet with Murazon, but I don't think it's time quite yet. I think the question here is, do we get away with a Blackwater Behemoth or not? Or do I need to just fully clear? Probably just fully clear, right? How does this work? Does Whirlpool destroy the copy or does the copy create after the Whirlpool goes off? Probably the copy creates after the Whirlpool goes off is my guess, right? That's my guess. I have a feeling they may not get another great board though, so let's just go ahead and Whirlpool. They're kind of low on resources, right? So we may be able to keep up with like a behemoth now for a turn or two. Uh, it looks like it went off and then the death rattle went off. So yeah, basically there was a gap, right? The whirlpool went off. There was no astral tiger in the deck quite yet. Then after the whirlpool resolved, it shuffled an astral tiger into the deck. So that makes sense. That would that operates as I would expect. Fives and six are uh, hard to come by right now, man. Behemoth is pretty good for it for a while though. Resources are bad. I was kind of hoping to get get a little breather here where they just had a few dead turns, but seems like they're getting quite a few cards put together there. Probably gonna play Behemoth here, but I want to get a school teacher down too. We could just coin, right? It's fine. Raise dead? I mean, it's not my favorite, but I I might need some resources. I don't know. It's like. <laughs> it's a lot of damage taken, but hopefully I'm healing up a fair bit for a while. Okay. Oh, hey, Jesse. Um, sorry, dude. I Oh, we haven't started that quite yet. Uh, hang tight. If you, are you going to be around for the next, uh, I don't know, 30 minutes to an hour? Yeah, sorry. I didn't know how to, like, pause it until I was ready to do it, Jesse. Um, but if you hang tight... I, th I think I'll take care of you. Sorry, dude. I goosed it. That's another good board, man. Owl kills a little. I should have turned off the alerts and stuff. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, again, we'll talk about that later. I need a board clear again, dude. Oh. Yeah, cool. That's one. Also a quest activator, which is nice. Um, I didn't heal as much as I wanted. Let's see what I get here. 23 is okay for now. We always have hero power if we need it desperately, right? Ah, that's really good. But this is the wrong guy. Could still actually be useful though if um we find another behemoth. We can get it like a double heal activation there. Oh, oh, okay, whiffed. Thank God. Wrong side. I picked the wrong side. <laughs> um, oh, I can absolutely make a Murloc noise, Jesse. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, sorry again for the confusion there, man. I, that's my fault. But here you go. That said, uh, in Murloc itch, that said, I wish the very best to you and yours. I hope you have a wonderful life. These are gross, dude. I don't know how to handle this board. I need yet another board clear that I don't have. <sighs> Krusty hits here. I could get like a Zyrella. That would be insane. <sighs> Murazon, I mean, theoretically plays like a Taunt and a Militia Horn, which could be kind of cool, but fairly risky. I mean, Krusty here leaves me dead, right? It's it's 18. If I get the Rushers, Murazon is insane, to be fair. I don't get the rushers, I pretty much just lose, right? I must not fail. Breaks quest. Yeah, that's not as big a concern. I can win via control. I just need to be alive. I could also play off the top for a heal here, I guess. If I'm gonna play Murazond anyway, I might as well try for like a wand or something or an Adara. An actual Hearthstone genius, dude. <laughs> Literal Hearthstone God Regis Gilman. It also finished the quest. Are you kidding me? I didn't even think about that. That is so insane, dude. That's actually so insane. I'm just gonna tempo this. I don't know. I'm just worried about hand size, right? Actual Hearthstone God. 
<laughs> hey jesse dude thanks for uh buying a pack by the way let me let me see if i can see this activity feed ah i see yes you purchased one pack thank you jesse for the support by the way i didn't get to give you the spiel i you know but uh basically that's a that's a fun way to donate uh we'll talk about it more when i officially kick it off but it's a really fun way to donate if you want to support the stream while also getting me to do stuff and getting a chance to making me waste all of my gold which we'll talk about I'm tilted on behalf of the opponent, yes. <laughs> yeah, I feel pretty bad too. That was sort of gross, wasn't it? Uh, no actual big spell here, seriously? Huh, it's kind of sad. This is a discover, so I get a double copy there. I'm kind of running out of room here, man. This really only refreshes two currently. That is wild. Uh, yeah, let's play this crusty. In theory, it's like a little wasted. I might have a better target later, but honestly, I'm just... Kind of running out of steam. This could grab me an Adara. That's very powerful. As another reload option, right? Kind of burn so many cards, though. Kind of need to, like, tempo a Zephyrus. Yeah, I'm going to. How? Well, I actually, I'm only one Scorpion away, actually. No, I'm going to tempo a Talented Arcanist. It's hard to use that anyway. I can't play this because it fills my hand too much. I just don't need it. This is this turn, right? Yeah. Uh, yes, Jesse, no worries. Thank you, dude. That's awesome of you to support. That's really nice. Yeah, my hands are too big. What can I do? I got giant hands. Oh my god! Okay, well. I drew the Adara anyway. Is it time to use it? It's kind of free, right? Could just play a Mirazond, but this is, we're, we're kind of like just good to go, honestly, because... Next turn, I can play Murazant. Big quest is done. I play Zyrella, Cold Tooth. We get quest. Although, oh, Deathwing actually might kill my quest draw. I can do it twice, though, so it's not a big deal. I can just grab a Deathwing, too, if I'm desperate for removal, I guess. <laughs> I don't really want to do that, though. I don't want to lose my hand. Um, scroll? Okay, that's smart. Oh, thank you. Bonus. It's good for them still because they get two cards, but I like shields. So Morazon for me is not the best here, but I, I think it's still something we absolutely play to finish quest line, right? Starfall could could actually backfire. But again, I think that's totally okay. It doesn't mess anything up, does it? Oh, it might actually, because I'm going to draw a card. Aquatic form. Ah, shoot. So can I play this first? Yeah, that's fine now. Now I can draw a card and get Zyrella, right? Only drawing one? Yeah. Thank God I spotted that. Oh my God, that would have been scary. <laughs> um, oh, it just dredged. Oh, okay, nice. I'm out of mana, so I didn't actually draw a card. I risked drawing a card. If I had hit like a two drop or something, I risked burning Zyrella. Okay, that is totally fine. Then. Even better. Uh, let's just heal to be safe. We got a good word. Hey, who cares? What's up, man? This deck is, is actually pretty intense to play. Oh, I guess, even though I didn't get to see it, did it show here? No, it didn't. Oh, it does show Pandar and Importer. That's weird. <laughs> it's like, I, we didn't get to choose it, but it, 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 it knew. HS Replay knew and the game knew. <laughs> Hero part first, he put it at zero. That's a good idea. So the dredge can never connect. That makes sense. I like that. So we have to do this twice if... Uh, if we get Deathwing, but that's totally fine. We did not, okay. There is some tiny baby risk of them using Spyglass to steal this. I'm just gonna keep some cards in hand to reduce that as much as possible. I mean, it's so unlikely, of course, but... <laughs> I don't even know, they may not have it. I haven't kept track of their treasures. Like, maybe like that's their Militia Horn slot things. They've played a few. Early treasures, I don't know. Hey, there's that Astral Tiger back. It's a pretty bad top deck, honestly. Not so bad. Gonna play the Nagi Don't. Oh, maybe to put two in hand? Sure. I like that. Tiny health risk is worth it, maybe. It's amazing how often we've actually won with Quest in this deck. I, I really didn't ever expect to when we built it early. I thought maybe the first couple games, but Capture Cold Tooth Mine is just such an insane combo with Quest, right? Holy Book's an 8. We've kind of been lacking 8s. It may get discounted, of course, but then I've got a cheap Holy Book, so that's okay. We like cheap cards.
Oh my. Oh my. This is a discover, but that's it. I think this is just the easiest bucket to play, right? Like these all kind of do something okay. These don't really do anything good for me. These don't really do anything good, so. Not exactly the best bucket, but. We keep crusty. We got a three and a five. Uh, it's such a good card, but at the same time, yeah, it's a really good card. I have no urgency on quest, right? Let's just keep crusty. They, they've got the discount hero power in particular, so they might have like bigger threats maybe. Nourish, I could push all the way to two. Maybe. Scorpid can fill in some gaps as well here. So what do they have? Goggles and recycling. Oh, whoa, my apocalypse is insane. Okay, that's nuts. They just have a million cards. I guess was that maybe on the left? I didn't notice. Maybe they wanted to dump that for goggles discounts, right? Ooh, hey, Mr. Guff. What's up, dude? Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably just Scorpion into Guff, right? We haven't seen Guff in a while. It's nice. I'll definitely play him before I worry about the five cost. We already have Krusty anyway, so should be okay. Scorpid this turn, discount nourish to four, holy book to seven. Could actually maybe even coin a green thumb into Guff, but I don't know. I like saving the green thumb for later. Only two fours in the deck. Correct. Only two fours in the deck. But you may notice we have lots of ways to discount things and make them fours or or less or find new cards and make them fours. So we do OK. Coin Guff feels a little sad here. You could go for the Nourish first and play the Darnassus so that I finish the first step of the quest. Kind of like that better. Just really fills and finishes and discounts again. Holy Book's a six drop then. That's really good. Oh, Flipper. Friends already. Gross. Eh, kind of just three dudes out though. It's not a big deal. Yeah, we'll do this line. This discovers and discounts again. Gonna be full here. But I don't care. Uh... I think it's got to be wand, right? Two wands is even better than two behemoths. That's insane. Two four mana wands. That is insane. <laughs> yeah. So next turn is guff into whatever. I don't know. Wand maybe if it's scary enough, I guess. Probably won't be though. Guff plague might might do the job. I, cannot hold any more I guess we can we, we can squeeze in a green thumb gardener too, right? It's free. Kind of dies to that 5-3 fairly easily, I guess. Doesn't feel super, super good. But if they're hitting stuff, I think I'm happy, right? I, I think I'm okay if they're not hitting my face. We'll have plenty of resources, plenty of recovery time, so... Yeah, just get it out. Kind of free, right? Am I gonna, am I gonna squeeze in a Devouring? Oh my god, I forgot that's done. Oh, I forgot that it's also finishing quest. This is the craziest deck I've ever played, dude. I should have coined first. We're only going to get one whirlpool. Zephyrus is active? You're kidding me. That actually blows my mind. I cannot believe Zephyrus is active already. How is that possible, dude? It's turn nine. Um, yeah. This doesn't always do much of anything is the problem, but I have 10 cards anyway, so I should have coined. I would have loved another whirlpool. Yeah, it literally did nothing except heal four and preserve a card off the top, which I guess those are both noble goals indeed. So whirlpool is honestly ready. We're just looking for an eight drop and I can probably force that with Zeph, honestly. Uh, we'll just, yeah, we'll whirlpool the Mally. That's fine. I mean, Holy Book Mally is pretty good. Don't exactly have a lot of cards for it though, just in case they have another one. Let's. Let's keep quest moving, right? I like it fine. Did they have another Mally? Yeah, they did! <laughs> Get wrecked! Second Mally goes. <laughs> Honestly, let's just take the heal. I, I don't think we need any of them, but we definitely don't really care about dealing damage, and I don't care too much about a 2-2 two, two or 3-3 three, three right away. We can interact with the board really easily, so that's not a big concern. Zeph, I can get two copies of it. I think I'll just use it to take an eight drop here, right? Like it's we're on 10, we're looking for an eight. We don't yet have a way to tutor the shard, so that's a little bit of a problem, but that's okay. We got plenty of things to do in the meantime. Yeah, we have 
five treasures in hand. Yeah, and the Zephyrus. The, yeah, the worst card in my hand is a two mana devouring plague, which is certainly not a bad card, right? Two mana devouring plague is pretty good. Zephyrus find a nine? I don't think usually he usually fills your curve, right? He should find an eight, I think. I think I'll get offered like Tyrion and um, we might get a Jaraxxus. Sometimes he like prefers the value, but I, I think we'll just get a Tyrion. Oh, I'm at 11. Oh, I see what you mean. Oh, I see what you mean. Um, oh, I can just hero power then. That's fine. We'll just go back to 10 here. I I, I didn't understand your question. We're guffing to 11. I gotcha. But this will work. Yeah, Tyrion's just dandy. Put your faith in the light. Do, do. This feels like I'm playing a different game in some ways than my opponent. Like, I'm just doing the most busted stuff. I have 12 mana. I have a completed quest, five treasures. Is that like an Alex Straza? No, okay. It's fine. Boomkin. Twig? A lot going on right now, man. That made me a little nervous. I think we'll be okay, but I'm a little nervous. There will be more Marvel Snap today, yeah. Just hang tight. I need that cold tooth. Wild Pyro. Cast the darkness from your heart. I just take the crusty here. I don't, it doesn't really need the silence. I think it's probably a little better than uh, Holy Book. Saving this coin for game uh, game ten, guys. <laughs> I don't know. Like, uh, how much does it cost if I cold tooth and play shard at the same? Oh, only twelve. We've already played Zyrella, so it's a little risky to put it in the deck early, honestly, because you know, like, I don't know, any sort of thought steal type effect, any kind of random parlay type effect. I don't know if there's anything to come to mind for Druid specifically, but you know, those kinds of effects exist. So, little risky. Look at this, 20 mana guff, dude. Is it gonna be enough? They're back on even footing for mana, at least, or ahead, really. I don't have any discovers right now, so I can start drawing, I guess. So make sure we find shard ASAP. They are gonna fatigue, dude. What on earth? <laughs> They've drawn 30 cards this turn. They've drawn 30 cards and spent 30 mana this turn. What is happening, dude? Have you ever seen this in your life? How many cards did they draw? Look at this! What is happening? They've had like a 60 mana turn! Not literally, but my god, it feels like it. This seems like a wand now. I was just gonna holy book, but I feel like they've committed so much at this stage. Probably time to just wand. They drew again! My god! Watch me just top deck shard after all that. <laughs> like they do all that work and I just hit the shard off the top. <laughs> that would be amusing. Uh, actually, let's draw a card first in case it is shard. Okay. Uh, Gadget saying, yeah, we need to draw cards. That's fine. <sighs> Whoa, there it is. Cool. Why not? I don't know. It doesn't matter, but just in case I lose it somehow. Alrighty. <laughs> See you, Guff. That was, that was one of the craziest turns I've ever seen. <laughs> this endless mana. That was wild. Uh, not good enough. Okay. All right, Drek'thar, let's go. The League of Explorers cannot fail. Scorpion's really good for us. Zarel is pretty good as well. Now I just need to find a two. Okay, deal. Probably still coin the Scorpid here. Don't we need to save coin? I don't know. We'll see. Oh, gross. Oh, gross. I hate this pair, dude. This is so hard to deal with. Ugh. Ugh. They have a one drop ice. We're going to be in trouble. Okay, no one drop ice. Impossible. I am utterly impossible. I am utterly impossible. Lord Z. Okay, that's obviously a frost spell. Nourish discounts are good, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
We'll discount them again next turn. We'll have a ton of mana. It's going to be hard to catch up, though. Behemoth is, is fine against Frost guys, I guess, but not great. I'm going to need some plays here. I don't know. Scorpid sort of contests. Going to need Zyrella heals. I'm going to need mana. I'm going to need... I don't know. Stuff. Stuff and things. Things and stuff. Thought steal. Just don't see how that's good enough, right? Stormpike aid station is like not interesting at all. I, <laughs> I think I take this. It's also not interesting at all, but it's uh, it's all we got right now. I'm going to be ramping a fair bit, I think. So maybe this helps stabilize against a board of three sixes. Maybe it helps fulfill some mid quest line. I don't know. It's going to be really hard to pull this back. These three sixes are gross. I'm taking so much damage off free solid every turn that like if I don't kill them fast enough, I just lose. I kind of need that like wand action again. It's so gross because it's not it's not just like whenever a freeze occurs, it deals double. It's every point of damage you take while frozen, right? It's so gross. Like I'm going to take eight million damage here, basically. Can grab a prayer for Zyrella, but it's too much mana. It's maybe Bloom too. It's not always prayer. I guess I take this one turn and just basically die here and um, try to hit this desperate prayer to recover a little. Could almost do the whirlpool, honestly. It's still only gonna deal five though. It doesn't even kill the water elemental. Probably just dead, aren't I? I mean, I'm literally might be dead here. I'm taking what. Uh, 612 and uh, 8 is 20. So any burst damage in hand is just super lethal. It's gross, dude. Yeah, oh, I have, yeah, I have hero power now. Yeah, we'll clear, we'll clear. Just am I dead, you know? Like, is it too much? Is it too far gone already? Uh, okay. I mean, Blackwater can, can recover this, actually. We're not out of this yet, honestly. This could be worse. Quest is also done. Yeah, that's, that's not bad. Impressive. Discounting these is cool. Do I need a wild pyro to clear? Potentially. Might help. I don't know. Probably not super important, but you never know. Okay. Wild pyro gift is kind of funny. <laughs> Just buff it and, and use that to pop off, right? Necrotic's okay. That's fine. I need to play any small minion for Blackwater, I think. Honestly, do I play this together? I, I think so, right? Just... Just, it's a quest step, it's... It's a minion, I don't know. It's not that bad, really. Well, I guess I could have palm reading in there, too. I think I could have squeezed in a palm reading, right? Because, well, was hand size a restriction? For max value, anyway? Perhaps, uh, perhaps. But maybe still worth it. So Nourish is just totally... Am I dead? No way. Well, Delar, you're kidding me, dude. Taking 16 off Quell Delar, you're kidding, dude. That's so crazy. Wow, what a deck, dude. <laughs> what a deck, dude. This is what it feels like, huh? Wow. Perfect answer there. Jeez. Probably just exercise it, right? Sometimes that silence can be handy. I don't really need Worshipper, I don't think. Not good enough! Nine. Another druid, man. And a lot of like guff druid action, huh? Mycelium druid stuff. And that's a two, but it is such a bad card, right? I, I don't think I keep it. I don't think quest advancement matters enough to just keep terrible cards. Darnassus is just a better two. That's fine. Wand is nice, good, good stabilizer. Guff is certainly great. Backpacks and saplings, okay. Not too worried about two twos. Is this the same guy we played earlier? I don't know their name, but I feel like... No, they didn't have backpacks, right? I don't think so. Okay. A little heal, maybe. A little taunt. All you could have done to avoid that loss was press find game at a different time. I like that, yeah. That's the strategy. Leave it up to fate. Yeah, they had armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right, yeah. Which we don't care about at all, of course, because we have freaking shards. They don't kill this. I can actually play Guff next turn. Not sure I want to, to be honest, but 
kind of just want to play Dungar and stay on curve. Gonna need it. Do they have Guff? No. Oh, Twig. That's even scarier, maybe. Oh, God. Do they have the override on this? No way. Oh, my God. What an opening hand. Are you kidding me? They had both in the opener. Oh, good Lord. How? 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 I think I take heal here, then just just uh, wand next turn. Use this to recover later. Then hopefully they just play a single threat that Krusty can answer, right? Now they even get a good mulligan. These weapons, dude. <laughs> Qualtalar and Twig Sphere in a 40 card deck, right? They had it in the first three cards. That's so insane, I think. First three cards in a 40 card deck. That's wild. I mean, I could kind of get away with Guff and bait one more turn, right? I take 9, 13, but I'm healing here. I'm healing here. I can recover health here. I feel like I need to get more value out of the wand or I'm just going to be in the same spot. I need to kind of bridge to Whirlpool, basically. All right, let's take a risk. This obviously gets punished by like Arbor Ups and stuff. I mean, we know there's there's risk inherent to this, but I, I think to pull this game back in my direction, I need a bigger, bigger play. I need a bigger swing. If they hold for a second turn here, that's fine too. Then we just bought some time, right? Like it's okay. We'll, we'll bridge to Whirlpool that way anyway, so. And bridge to this heal too, I guess, which is nice. Am I the only person who has to look at, um, who has to look at that every time to make sure I have the right amount of mana? Every single time I play, I have to double check that I'm gonna go back to the man I want to. It's like I can't in my head process that it only costs one. It feels on it just doesn't feel right. <gasps> wow, wish. That's crazy, dude. If only I had a whirlpool, man. Oh wait, I do. <laughs> Let's see if we like destroy anything, like a yog or something. That'd be fun. Okay, I mean, this obviously has to happen. I haven't seen Wish in forever. Did it get any extras, any duplicates? No. Okay. So, I mean, we've kind of neutralized here. We're, we had a decent health total. We're kind of even on mana almost. We've... Oh. Never mind. That's gross. Did they have that armor up they were holding earlier? I guess maybe it wasn't lethal. It's crazy. 12, 20, 22. I'm technically alive if I crusty, but I can certainly try for this first. Lunar, I get two lunars. That's pretty good. Kill both of these and crusty the big guy. That's all right. Oh, I, oh yeah, I can still double lunar. Oh no, I can't play crusty though, shoot. I was thinking these are going to one, but they don't. It's not, it's not, they don't discount that far. Shoot. 1820. Uh, might just be dead then. Maybe I just have to play the healer taunt here. I don't know. One, one could argue that. I think I could have squeezed this in too, actually. Shoot, I should have. One could argue the heal is sort of worth more if I plan on having removal, but I don't currently have the removal, so I think I have to play for the taunt. I don't know. Oh, I could have hero powered too. Oh my god. Lost a couple optimizations there, I think. In my desperate search to stay alive. Well, what do they have? Let's see. Oh, is that lethal? No, I guess not quite worked out oh maybe it is oh wow oh my god it's exactly are you kidding me dude <sighs> gardener into double lunar crusty i don't think that worked right gardener would have refreshed less than it cost so then lunar would have spent another two i think i would have only had four or three mana left at that stage Gardner only refreshed up to five, right? Remember, I'd already spent three. I'd already spent three, so I didn't have much mana left. I started the turn with the Scorpion. Okay, good run. That was a crazy run. We hit some nutty decks at the end. Wish, 
Queldalar, uh, just absolute nuts at the end. <laughs> like, you can't feel bad about that. Let's open this back. Um, yes, more Marvel later today, guys. More Marvel later today. Okay. 